Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Wikispaces. So um, this is the class homepage right here. And so what you want to do is you want to start off by making a new page. So what you'll do is you'll go over here and click on new page. And you want to give it a page name. Now, since a lot of the people in the class are making pages that probably have the same name, you want to do something to identify your group. So I would say, if, for example, if you're making an introduction page, you might want to put introduction, but it might help to put the group name in front of it so that you can tell your introduction page from everybody else's. And then tags, this isn't something that's necessary, but if you want to be able to f have people on the internet find your page um, when they type in a keyword, like you know when you go to um, Google and you type in some words and then you get a, a list of hits, if you want to try to get your page to appear on those hits, even if it's not on the first page, the words you'd want them to think of when you they think of your page are what you'd put here under the tags. Um, so uh, maybe I'd do something like that, or I could put something content related like that. Um, I'll spell it right, obviously, etc. Um, and then you hit create, and it makes the page. Now if you look at this page, you'll see this little bar up here, and this is kind of the typical bar that you'd see in a word processing document. So hopefully you kind of recognize what each of the things are, bolding, italicizing, underlining, that sort of thing. Um, so you just start typing, and you go from there. Now one of the things I wouldn't um, necessarily recommend is copying over from Word because sometimes when you copy over from Word, Word formats it a certain way and then when it gets over here uh, you, it'll be hard to rep replicate the formatting that you had when you did it in Word. Um, if you wanted to type it in something else and then pull it over I would use something like Notepad um, or on a Mac text edit uh, rather than using Word or some other word processor. Okay so now let's say you want to link in to something that's outside okay so let's say you want to make a link to another page so here is a link so what you want to do is you want to highlight the page or the sorry that the, the uh, text that you want to be the linked text like that then you click click on the link button here and then you would type in whatever you wanted so if you want an external link which is what I'm going to show you right here you click on external link and then you type in the address and you want to make sure you get the HTTP and slash slash part okay so let's say ESPN is one of my favorite sites and when I'm going outside of the wiki I usually like to put a new window on so it'll open up in a new window so you do that and then you click on add link and that's it um, so if you want to check it out you can test it out by doing that if you want to change it you can change it by doing that and if you change your mind you can change your mind by doing that you can also change your mind by just eliminating the uh, the text just deleting the text and that'll delete the link also okay so I've got the link there and then uh, I'll test it out in just a second okay but uh, I also want to put in a picture I can't spell there we go so let me test out the link you, you well I'll test it after I save it if you want to add in a picture that's what this one of the things that could do you could do with this is to insert that picture in and um, again, sometimes you can't get the formatting for a wiki page quite like you can before. So if you want to get, like, get the picture side by side with text, you might have to create a table and make the table, um, say, one row and two columns. And in the left-hand column, you'd put the text. and the right-hand column, you'd put the picture. You could do something like that. Um, or you can just put the picture in like that, just kind of take the formatting that the wiki, wiki spaces gives you. So let's say I wanted to upload a picture from, from, my, uh, from my computer. So I would do something like that. And um, if I click on Upload Files, and by the way, this is a list right here of all of the um, pictures that all of us in the class so far have uploaded to Wikispaces. Um, so let's say I wanted to get this from my computer. Uh, let's see, I'll go over here, and I'll say do that one right there. And so you find the, locate the picture, and then click Open and then it will upload okay there you go once it's uploaded it'll show the picture then you select it like that and it puts it in now you notice that you can change it by using the size command 
So for example, if I want to make it smaller, which I probably do, okay, you can do that and just keep making it smaller and smaller until you get it to about the size you want it. You can also change the size by dragging these things, but that changes the aspect ratio, and I'd almost rather that you did the minus and plus a little. Um, so let's get it down to a size. That is a good size. And uh, of course you can align it, center, left, right, whatever. Okay, we'll do that. Um, okay, and then to when you're done, just click on the white space out here, and it's done. Okay, so then, the last thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted to have, uh, let's see, let's say, let's say you wanted to save it at this point. This is probably a good time to do that. If you click on save, it'll save all your changes. And there's where you see it at, okay? Now if you want to edit, you have to go back here and click on edit, and it'll you'll be able to edit the picture, okay? So again, you can see how you, you sometimes you have to just take what the formatting it gives you. Or like I said, if you wanted to do something like put a, create a table, you can do that, create a table with one column and two rows, and then, uh, oops, I want, I want it the other way around actually. Uh, but that, that'll, this will work. So you, then you can take the text, or you can drag the text in there, you can take the picture and stick the picture in there, and there you've got a little bit better formatting that way. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you um, is an internal link. Here is an internal link. And this would be a link going back or going to the pages that you've created or that others have created in the wiki. So let's say I want to change, make that my linking text, okay? And I'm going to go up here and click on link. And this time I want to do an internal link. And what I'm going to do is I want the wiki link tab here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a page that already exists in the wiki. So I click on that and this will show me all the pages. So this is where it comes in handy to have your page kind of with your name on it so you can tell which one you want. Now for, in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a link going back home. Now remember for your wiki you have to have a link from the home page to all your pages. You have to link within all your pages from one to the other and then you have to have a link going back to the home page. Okay so don't forget that. Um, so we'll click on, on home and we'll add link to that. Okay and then we'll save it. Okay. So now we'll test this out. Here's the external link right there. We'll click on that and you notice that it took me to ESPN. Okay. And so I'm going to get rid of that. And then here's the internal link and we'll test that out. And notice it didn't take me to a new window, but it took me back to the home page. So of course I'd want to edit this page and put a link going back to my intro page. So those are the basics. I mean, there's a few other things you can do with wiki spaces. But those are the basics. If you do those things, I think you'll be able to be successful at uh, creating your wiki. So, good luck.